everyone. Have you ever noticed that when you ask the narcissistic person a question, something that should be rather easy to answer, yet you cannot understand their answer? It's just like they talk in circles. Um, the answer does not make sense and you have to keep repeating the question a few times. And, and more than likely, you still won't understand their answer. And the reason is, they're so used to lying and BSing that they can't remember what they originally said. They feel like you are testing them. They feel like they're being interrogated. That's why a lot of them will just go into a narcissistic rage if you question anything because they feel guilty in a sense. Not in the way that we would feel guilty, but um, it's more how dare you ask me a question and they know that they're lying and they feel like they just got caught or you're going to call them out on something. So they, like I said, they fly into this narcissistic rage. The answer will just be going around in circles and it's not going to make sense. They basically give you what's called word salad and even emails can be like that. I remember with my narcissistic ex I don't even want to say my, the narcissistic ex. I had a reminder from some lady's video and I would say her name, but I actually forgot it. Dr. Somebody, not Romani. Uh, it, it was somebody else that, a psychologist, I, I can't remember. Um, she also said not to claim them in, as ours, but um, I've learned that before. So I should get out of that habit myself. So the narcissistic ex, I remember getting emails from him and he would always be asking me questions. My gosh, I even got tired of answering stuff. So whenever I would ask him a question, I like I've explained in other videos, I'm a little bit aloof, so I would forget that I even asked it. Whenever he wrote back, we'd be talking about other stuff and I would completely forget that I even asked. Um, but other times, if it was something I really needed to know or whatever, he just purposely would not answer, I think just because it was like this power trip. But if he ever did answer something, I never understood what the heck he was talking about. I would even read parts of the email to like friends who also would be like, I have no idea what that was supposed to mean. Like, what does that mean? I'm like, I don't know. It makes literally no sense. Um, so it's just a bunch of word salad. They'll fly in a narcissistic rage if it's something that they feel like they're getting caught on, um, that you, you are onto them or you caught them in some kind of BS and you want to have something answered and they will not do it. So you won't get an answer, period, when you're dealing with a narcissist. That is how you were. You will more than likely know that the person is a narcissist if you cannot get a straight answer from them. And then you can start to see and Google, you know, the other things that they do or look up the other things that they do, such as silent treatment, which is the one I hated the most, or any other tactic that they're doing. You will probably Google it or research it on YouTube and you will find out that more than likely all the things that they do will lead you to the same answer that they are a narcissist.